If we're gonna remain a family, we should probably get far away from here. Monica grew up on the Broken Rock Indian Reservation and recently moved back. She's a middle school teacher. She spent the last seven or so years on different military bases with her husband, Casey, raising their son, Tate. Casey and Monica have a bit of a Romeo and Juliet vibe. What was he doing here? There is such a tension with the reservation and the Dutton family. As a native culture, we belong to the land. You know, the land doesn't belong to us. You will be judged for the actions of your father. They all will. This battle is coming, and he's sort of caught in the middle. Which ends up resulting in tragedy for both families. <laughs> Monica doesn't know the truth, so she's just confronted with the loss of her brother as well as the loss of his brother. Baby, look at me. Casey is dealing with PTSD that really starts to put a strain on his family. What is that one? That's the Navy Cross. You wouldn't believe what I had to do to get that one. You just watch him sort of get more withdrawn and darker as she gets more afraid of him and what he's capable of. She's realizing all of this collateral damage that comes out of Casey's actions. <laughs> he inevitably is putting Tate in danger. As much as he's trying to be a good dad and he's trying to be a good example, he really doesn't know how to do that. I love you. I love you too. She's doing the best she can, being the homemaker as well as being the working mom and wife. Hey, buddy. Without her, he would be nothing. There's so much love there. But there's so many reasons why she shouldn't be with him at this point. Thought we were forgetting tonight. You see those dreams kind of fade away. Her time at the Dutton Ranch is so confusing. She doesn't understand what that brand means. There is a bond between them that will last until they're in the ground. Welcome home. It's tough for him because he's a loyal guy and he doesn't know who to be loyal to. He loves his family, even though he has his issues with his father. His grandson brings out another side in him. Grandpa said we can stay the night. He's so determined to have that relationship with his grandson. She's never really been a part of the Dutton family, and she's very weary. You don't act like the man from the stories I've heard. Monica finally confronts John Dutton about his relationship with his son and why Casey is so reluctant to include him in our family. He told me he got some girl he barely knew pregnant. I told him to take you to the clinic, and he wouldn't do it. You know, John is beginning to understand the joy of perhaps having a grandson that he didn't really want to see come into this world. He realizes what he could have lost had Casey gone through with it. Monica, Mel Thompson, the president of Montana State. Hi. You're offering me a job? Yeah. You don't understand. When a teacher leaves a school on a reservation, there's just one less teacher. It's really important for her to take care of the Native youth and promote hope and optimism and continue that resilience. Monica breaks up a school fight and hits the pavement so hard. Monica seems to not remember Casey. She finally sees who he's become and how it's so destructive. She doesn't know how to move forward. When they release me, I want to stay with you. She thinks her life, and especially Tate's life, would be better without him in it. She wants nothing more than for them to be a family, but ultimately her job is to protect her son. It doesn't mean I don't love you, Casey, because I do. I just love our son more. Because her relationship with Casey is sacred, she's in a really difficult place breaking that.
Hey, this is Wes Bentley. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Yellowstone.